Hello and welcome to Perfect Opacity. Today we're going to learn how to create a KDP coloring book using AI that is Leonardo.ai. Uh, for those of you who may not know about uh, KDP from Amazon, this is an online service from Amazon that enables you to create uh, various types of books. You upload them, you upload the manuscript and the book cover and then Amazon is going to use their platform and uh, post the, the book on Amazon and if you get sales they're going to do the shipping, the printing and everything all you get from Amazon is a royalty. So it's a good way of making passive income and many people are getting some good money, good money from uh, KDP. So for example, so there are these books that I was checking in Amazon and uh, they are doing pretty well. Uh, so imagine if you have such books, several of them you could be making a passive income every month. For example, uh, I was just using KDP Spy from Book Bolt, and it en enables me to have a sneak preview of how much each of the books uh, is making. Now uh, these are uh, the Mandala book uh, making a, has already made about. Uh, uh, 1,185, this one has made 457, this one has made 276, and so on. So for this, just to give you a, to give you a sneak preview of uh, the, the earnings from Amazon. Now what you do is that you come to Leonardo.ai website and you're going to create an account. Once you hit create an account, you're going to ask uh, your first name and your email. When you hit count me in, you're going to be they're going to send a link on your email that you can click and then you're able to log in uh, but in my case i've already in case you've already created an account you just come to start using leonardo.ai and then you click yes i'm listed if you've already logged in and you can start using the service um so basically uh, with kdp amazon one thing that you need to make sure is that before you create any book you need first to do a research on the niche uh, number two you need to do a thorough research on the keywords now to do that i've already done two videos on that just head over to perfect opacity you're going to see these two videos on grab your competitors uh, kdp keyword this enables you to reverse engineer on the successful uh, publishers what they are doing the keywords they are using and you can use them on your book to generate sales the other one is a uh, profitable keywords using uh, research tools this one enables you to research on niche uh, areas where you can publish the books and also the keywords that can make you profitable just check on perfect opacity you're going to see these uh, highly detailed videos fine so now you come over to leonardo.ai and once you've logged in you're going to come over to this home window and you can see that these are uh, featured models and down here you can see what other people have already uh, generated using the various prompts so the more detailed is your, your prompt the better the outcome is going to be now what you do is that you're going to come over to uh, AI image generation here under tools you click on it and then here on the number of images now with this it gives you an option to select the number of images per prompt that it's going to generate for you and then from those images you can select the one that you actually want so and then another thing if you check over here it shows you the number of tokens remaining now when you're using the free version it gives you 120 tokens and depending on the number of images that you're you're, you're generating the tokens are going to be uh, deducted and i believe these are renewed daily so in case you get to exhaust your tokens after 24 hours or so uh, i believe you're able to uh, reaccess the service so for this case i'm going to select four I'm going to use this prompt 
uh, black and white outline for art kids coloring book page princess full white kids white background da 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 all that and uh, you can see in my case i'm going to generate four images and it's going to tell me i'm going to use eight tokens i believe the number of tokens is dependent on the complexity of the image that you are generating so for align art it's basic so you don't have to it doesn't expand a lot of your tokens so perfect there you are i have my four images of a princess uh, good so now what you do is that you just select the one that you want uh, and again you have to make sure they they are not imperfections because mostly with AI it has issues with the, especially the fingers I believe we can select this one so what you do is adjust over to download image so there we have our downloaded image now if you look at this image you're going to see a lot of uh, gray uh, areas on this background and I don't want to have gray color I want to have white because again this is a coloring book and I want it to have good quality so what you do is that I'm going to come over to Photoshop just come over to Photoshop and you're going to load your your image like that you double click your image and then what I'm going to do I'm going to come over to select color range and then I'll select sample colors what I'm going to sample this area and then I say okay it's going to select all the areas with the gray and then what I'm doing I'm going to hit delete perfect then I hit Control D. Then from there, what I'll do is that I'm going to come over and rename these lines main image. So I'm going to come over and add a new layer. Then I'll drag it here at the bottom. Then I'll come over to create a new fill. I add a solid color. Remember, we wanted white background. So I'm going to add white. You can see our image is now much whiter perfect then i come over to the main image i want the outline to be more uh, the solid areas to be more enhanced so i'll double click on it and then i'll come to stroke click on stroke and then i'm going to play around sorry with inside with various uh, positions that's inside center all oh, good so i'll work with inside and then i can enlarge perfect so there you are so next you're going to save your image and then i'll show what you what to do so i go come to file i save as and i'm going to save my image as a png Next, you're going to go over to Canva. And log in. Once you're logged in, come to Custom. We want our book to be an 8.5 inches by 11 so i'll select inches so i'll do 8.5 by 11 say create new design perfect so i'll come over to uploads and it's going to be uploaded here's our image i click on it and then i can adjust my page accordingly the way I want. Like that. And so you can go ahead and add another another image. Let me add, add this one even though I've not worked on the background just for demonstration purposes. Like that. And so on until your book is full. So once you're done and you're satisfied with your manuscript, what we're going to do is going to come over to share and then download. 
is going to give you options file type we want uh, PDF best for printing this one should be 300 dots per, per inch so and then you're going to download your manuscript perfect and there you can upload it on Amazon so thank you very much for watching make sure you go to perfect opacity you like subscribe and check out those videos that I have talked about plus other design if you're not familiar with Photoshop I've still done on the same uh, channel I've done a lot to do with our Photoshop designs and you can learn a lot and you can improve on your, your skill in addition I've also done a uh, a video on KDP book cover design if you're not familiar with it you can go ahead and check it out and I believe it will be more like it so thank you so much for watching bye bye